Hi everybody and welcome back to the Paperless Movement YouTube channel. Today we want to talk about note-taking apps. And this video is especially about note-taking apps where you can use digital journals in. So maybe you have seen the other video I made about what is the best note-taking app in 2020. And I mentioned a lot of uh, note-taking apps in there. If you want to check this out, go over there and have a look. But not all of them are able to be used together with a digital journal. Th so this is the reason why we will focus today on three note-taking apps, which is Notability, GoodNotes and NoteShelf. Those are really the most common ones when it comes to using digital journals or digital planners. So after this video, you will know how well you can navigate in each app, how good you can organize your digital journal in each app, how the handwriting feeling is and how well the search engine works in all these three apps. So let's just dive into it. Here we are in the yearly overview of NoteShelf and obviously you could just swipe through the pages as you would do in a normal notebook. However, that is the thing that makes it nice using a digital journal of this type that you can just click on any date you want. Let's tap here and you will jump to the daily view of this day and you can start to write. So that makes it in NoteShelf we are using this in NoteShelf right now and it makes it really easy to navigate as I just tap on these different buttons. You see, I can just tap here on the 17th, it will jump to 17th. You see here the, the week we are in, we can jump between the different weeks. And when we go to a daily view, we are here on August the 18th and we click on week, it will jump to the weekly view. So that's perfectly working. So the good thing about this, now I used my finger as you saw, or my mouse to navigate. However, I want to maybe to just write and then just tap on here to jump over to the next page. And you see in NoteShelf, this works perfectly. If this isn't working, just make sure that you go to the options menu in the overall overview, go here, advanced, and here you have disable disable hyperlinks when writing. So when this is switched on, your Apple Pencil won't be able to tap on these navigation links. So make sure this is switched off. As soon as it's switched off, you can just jump around between these different pages. So let's see how this works in GoodNotes. So we are here now with the finger again, it's not working. If I'm using my finger like this, not working. So I'm writing, you see it's, it's working the writing but as I tap, nothing works. What we have to do in here, we have to reach out on the top right, click this button here. So we are in the, in the focus mode and we can't write anymore, but we can navigate. So we can jump around. And in order to start writing again, we have to switch off this button and we start writing again. And I think that's really inconvenient when it comes to navigation. You see the, 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 the journal is still working fine in GoodNotes, the same way as it works in NoteShelf. But when, when, when it comes to navigation, I think that's still not a good solution. And I'm wondering why they're not solving this. Let's go to Notability. So in Notability, we write something and then we can just tap here and it will give you a preview of this page it will jump to. So you go to this page, you can write, you tap here, you can jump to this other page, you tap here, but there's a delay. You see, I'm writing now on this and it is really hard. You have to tap very quickly here in order to navigate. So it is not as easy as it is in NoteShelf. However, it works and I think it's still better than using GoodNotes because you can just write, get over, tap on it. However, as soon it is not working, you will have a dot. You have to change to the eraser, delete the dot or make undo. And um, I think they still can work on this navigation functionality here. However, the good advantage of Notability and GoodNotes is that in Notability, you have vertical scrolling. With the latest update, you also got horizontal scrolling. So if you go on the top right, you tap here, go to view and single page. And now we have the option to navigate, navigate horizontally. And it's the same for good notes. We have horizontal scrolling here, but we can go to the three dots there. And then we just go to scrolling direction, vertical, and there we go 
you're scrolling vertically. So I'm not sure if Node.js will publish this as well. I'm convinced that they will do because obviously in good nodes and notability were able to implement this functionality. And as we saw in the past that Node.js is also able to implement these features. I think they will also add this feature, hopefully as soon as possible. Now let's talk about organization. So let's go back to Node.js and when we swipe in from the right, we will have all our pages. We could also just go here on top and then we have the pages here and we can just drag and drop these pages around. We can also select several pages. So let's say we want to just rearrange. It doesn't matter, the hyperlinks will stay still properly work. So we can rearrange these things as we like. It will still work as intended. Let's say we added several pages on the very end of the digital journal and we want to rearrange these. We can select several. So that's just for dragging around between different notebooks and so on. However, we can't drag them up and down. So that's also something Node.js still has to improve in notability. We go to pages, we hold down and we can't select several pages. So we can move them around as well, like in Node.js, but we can't ara drag around several pages. And when we are in, Node in good nodes and we go to our page overview, we can select several pages and that's it. We cannot move them around drag and hold and move them around, that's working. Tap and hold, select, okay. But here as well, I cannot move them anywhere else. So all of these three apps lack the op opportunity to move around several pages. If you found a workaround to do this, just let me know in the comments below. I think that's a feature that really, that really needs to be in there. Another feature talking about organization is actually finding my notes inside the digital journal. And um, there are several ways to do this actually. In Node.js we have the option to add tags actually. And now we have a tagged page here that will appear in the filter section. When you press tag, you see it appears here now. And we have in addition the option to bookmark this page to use different colors and write, give it a name and save it. And we go here and change the filter to bookmarked and it appears here. So the difference is that the bookmarked pages is only one bookmark. So this means you can mark one page with the tags you are able to select several pages having the same tag. So when I go to another page and I add a tag, I can filter these tags now by this is a test, see? If you want to learn more about how to use these bookmarks and digital journals, I'm actually offering an online course called How to Use Node.js Like a Pro. Make sure to check this out if you want to dive deeper into how to use Node.js. When we go to good notes, we don't have tags, we only have bookmarks. So I can bookmark this page. I can, can't even give it a name. So it is just bookmarked. So it's like tagging it for favorites, okay? But that's it. I can now go in here and I can go for favorites and that's it. These are my selected pages, but there's nothing else I can do with these bookmarks. And when we go to no notability, we have the option to add bookmarks as well. However, again, we can just bookmark these pages like here and then we have them available here, but there's nothing else I can do with these bookmarks. So I think if you want to really customize your bookmarks and even add tags, then Node.js is much better. However, there's a functionality in Notability that makes it easy to find your notes. If you tap here, you see actually all the pages you made some notes on it. So especially in this document with more than 470 pages, this is great to have because here you will have an overview of all the pages you made notes at. However, if you're using it as a daily journal and you're writing in there every day, it will just fill up here with all the pages you have in this journal 
and in the end you have no advantage here as well. Talking about handwriting feeling, I really like the handwriting feeling and notability. This is really great. Um, also when you draw a line and you hold it, you have the option to easily draw some shapes here. And that's really great and rearrange them. Um, that's really an advantage in notability. However, when it comes to styles, you don't have a lot of options. You have this fountain pen and the normal pen and uh, a lot of colors there, but that's it. In good notes, on the other hand, you have three different options to write there. We have a ball pen that makes normal writing. We have a fountain pen and we have a brush pen, which actually looks more like the version from Notability. And again, the handwriting is really fluent. Looking at Note Shelf, we have the most options of pens in there. We have the fountain pen, we have a pencil. However, the pencil doesn't support shading. It just looks like a pencil. So when we make it bigger, you see it better. And we have a ball pen. And we have such a pen there as well, like this. Um, the good thing is you have this favorites and you have the favorite toolbar, so you can actually add all the pens you want in there. That's really great. And you have some color palettes. You can edit, you can really customize your colors in there as well. What I'm missing in Note Shelf is actually this brush pen um, that really makes the writing look nice in these other apps. However, when it comes to fluent writing and so on, all three are really great when it comes to this. Now let's check out the search functionality in all these apps. Therefore, in Note Shelf, we go just to the top right and go to search and just put in this because I know that I wrote this a lot of times and you see already all these pages coming, coming up. Maybe take some time to index everything, but eventually it will turn up here. And as soon as we go here, it highlights the text that is found. I think that's really convenient. Um, to go through your notebook and especially you can write down some code like you know some text or something like this So that's also something I would recommend using in Note-taking apps that don't allow you to tag pages or to properly bookmark pages You still can write down some code to easily find this so I just write a tag here Sun and let's see let's go to another page and let's search now and put in sun and you see already it shows you the results right here obviously it shows all the Sundays but you also see here the, the, the tag sun so obviously as I tagged it it makes it easier to give it a hashtag put in sun and now we see still <laughs> all the different suns going on so it doesn't differentiate it which is a shame when we test this in Notability and we go to search. Nothing found. Let's put in sun only. And when we put in sun, it finds this easily. But also again, all these different uh, Sundays are highlighted. And when we try again, no, it is not working. So in Node.js I wrote Sun as well. Let's go to the search functionality. And it might take some time for index this or to find this because it has to search through all the pages. But you see it found it and it highlights it and it doesn't highlight anything else. However, it also shows when I write only Sun, it will show all the pages. So you see when it comes to the recognition I would prefer still note using Node.shelf because it recognizes the difference between the hashtag sun and a normal sun, which makes it even better to highlight certain pages with certain tags. So in my opinion, using Node.shelf for things like tagging different pages by handwritten tags, I still would prefer using Node.shelf. So in conclusion, it's not really easy to say which note-taking app to use. Notability, GoodNotes or Notechef are all three great apps to use with your digital journal. And it really depends on your preferences. Maybe you're using one of these apps already for years. 
there's no need to switch, I guess, if you're used to this app and you really like your app. The Digital Journal's functionality is all working in all three apps. Only, as I said, for the navigation, it might be inconvenient using Notability or GoodNotes and using some text and things like this. Uh, it's also Nodeshaft the better solution in my opinion. And obviously there are different reasons why you should use one or the other, not only for the digital journal, maybe there are other reasons for Notability that has WebDAV support, which is not available in Nodeshelf and things like this. Um, you will find out in the other video, I made a general comparison between all these apps. Um, but in this case, for the digital journal, the things that I think Nodeshelf makes better in these cases, and that's also the reason why I optimize the digital journal to be used in Nodeshelf, because Nodeshelf offers, in my opinion, the best user experience when using my digital journal. So I hope this was useful to you and if you liked this video, if you liked it, you know what to do. Give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And if you haven't already, subscribe to this channel and I'll catch you up next time.